And don't you know the most important part of the video is the part where I'm sneezing. Yeah, I am back today. I'm, I've got enough for two two videos, so look back again. I promise I'm recording it today, so it will be up either tomorrow or Sunday, depending on when I have free time to to edit things. Um, my daughter will be in a parade this weekend, so that's gonna that's gonna take up some time. Don't worry, I don't plan to babble a lot. But before I do get started, I want to give a shout out to Bev and Boulder, um, mostly because I have not heard from you in a little bit, and hun, I'm starting to worry. So do me a favor and drop me a line in a post if you're doing all right. If not, I'm gonna have to send out a search party and find out what's going on. Uh, now, the very first thing I want to start with has to do with a post that I put up yesterday. I don't do a lot of posts but when I do uh, it's usually for my members or something special for you guys and this one it's about our safety now I do not believe this is the first time I have shown you this web page but I wanted to let you know that Outlander online does have a very comprehensive list of people who are being faked um, and they are showing us their actual information their actual contact information and they've included blood of my blood as well and now so that we can hopefully at least go in with the knowledge of who it is we aren't talking to so we don't give bad information to folks um, that could get us in trouble we don't end up giving money to people that isn't the people we think they are um, so anyway yeah we've got the showrunners writers and then others that are um, you know, part of the thing and you don't want to be taken advantage of by an imposter. Yes, the link will be in my sources. Yes, I do encourage you to go through. And if there are people that you would really like to know what's going on, please follow their social uh, accounts and be aware of who it is you're talking to. Don't fall for anybody who says, I'm here representing so-and-so, give me such money and you will get a thing. No, you won't. Not to say there aren't things that would help your stars if you want to. You, you want to do something nice for Sam? Go buy a bottle of, of his drinks, um, donate money when he's doing one of his charities, same for Katrina, uh, same for Stephen Cree, he's got stuff that's been going on I've been telling you about. So yeah, um, if you want to do something for these actors or to recognize these actors and how awesome they are, or get close to them in some way that makes you feel like you're a part of their lives, even from the outside, don't wait for them to message you because they're not gonna. But find some of the things that they believe in, that they put their heart and soul in, and, and help support that. That's part of the reason why I like to share, um, again, what the stars are, are up to, whether it's movies, whether it's charities, whether it's a marathon or a new business. These are the ways we can be a part of these actors' lives and not get ourselves in any trouble. At least in theory. You know, it's, it's about best practice here. And now for some of the stuff you actually come here for, a very happy birthday to Meryl. This one is shared by Outlander Online. Happy birthday to uh, At Night Meryl, who is Meryl Davis. Uh, we hope you have an amazing day. And of course, I hope she did. Um, this is from a couple of days ago. It's a recent birthday, not a today birthday. And I wonder if the crew or cast got her like a cake. We should see pictures of that, right? I, I didn't see any pictures. Anyway, it is time for some behind the scenes. Let's start with this strapping young man. This is shared by Charles Vandesite and Outlander Online. New photo of Charles Vandervart and behind the scenes of Outlander. Posted by Izzy Mikhail Smoth, because we love her too. From Izzy Mikhail's Instagram. Happy birthday to this cutie. This is from a little bit ago, because we already did his birthday. But isn't that fun? Sitting proudly on his horse, having a smile at the camera. And I do, I, you know me, I like the behind the scenes stuff. I love we can see the whole crew there. It's kind of watching and waiting to see what's going to happen next or preparing for what's going to happen next. And that's going to be another picture with Charles. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, everybody just looks so pretty. Uh, posted by Charles Vandesite Outlander Online. Charles Vandesite says, I'm sorry, Charles. I am totally posting this. Charles Vandervaar and John Bell behind the scenes of Outlander wearing your grandma's rain bonnet. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, from John Hunter Bell on Instagram. Happy birthday to the boy who brings the magic to every gathering. There were a lot of little happy birthdays, but if I show them all at once, I don't have as much fun stuff to share now. And aren't they just adorable? I do remember my grandma wearing something like that. I, I don't care about my hair enough to do that. I don't. Oh gosh, don't tell me just because I am a grandma, I have to wear those because I, I, no. 
And we have this behind the scenes image, or at least an image. It looks like it might be behind the scenes, but it's definitely an image from the show. Got Gallo quirky smile on both uh, Katrina and Sam. So I tend to think it might be behind the scenes. New still of Katrina Balf as Claire Frazier and Sam Hewn as Jamie Frazier in Outlander Season 7. Part two. This one is from, uh, as shared by Outlander Online and Valve Nation. Uh, photo credit goes to TV line Outlander Stars and Robert Wilson Photo. And uh, just so that nobody can get fussy, although I'm sure somebody will edit it out. They've got this nice thing so you know where it comes. You know what will probably end up happening is I'll cut it out <laughs> as a thumbnail. But again, giving credit, it's not my photo. And and now they got Jamie in the green. I don't, I liked the lighter. Yeah, anywho. Another funny behind the scenes, Outlander Online. It's back to filming Outlander Season 8 for Dear Maid Murta Buck McKenzie. Uh, this one photo credit goes to, well, goes to him. Uh, <laughs> Dear Maid Murta uh, uh, on Instagram. I'm sorry. Mm. And then, of course, a lot of hashtags to go with it. because, And I figure that they probably took a nice little break. That's when Katrina was out doing her uh, promotions for the cut. Now that she's back, most people are back, I'm guessing. Uh, although they can logistically film around her for certain things. But I would guess that that break was a good time for her to do her thing. Anywho, there's his, uh, there's our Bucks trailer kind of sideways. <laughs> They're, they are kind of generic, unless you, of course, add wildlife and a jungle in yours. <laughs> and now we switch over to little bits of, of our stars and their lives and the things that they've shared on Instagram um, that aren't behind the scenes because we know John and, and Izzy like to share stuff on, on, on the set. But anyway, this is off the set. Um, people doing their own thing. And one of my favorite people to follow who aren't actually one of the stars... But does tend to share some of the funniest uh, pictures here. This is from Davey Hollywood. I apologize. I'm stepping all over my own tongue today. What a great guy. Duncan LaCroix. Blast from the past. This is an older image apparently. Uh, but see, this is Davey. Davey Hollywood drives around a lot of our stars to get from one place to another. And so he gets some candid photos and shares them on a pretty regular basis. Or at least posts. So yeah, he's on X and on Insta. So if you get a chance, follow him because he's funny. Um, and then so here's a picture of him just out and about and going from one spot to another. Now I do hope I'm going to be able to get away with this because there's no sound. And um, maybe occasionally I might cut it slightly so it won't be an exact replica of the trailer. This one is shared by Daily Caesar Dom Boy, U.S. trailer of Cult, October 18th is when it comes out on Prime Video. So if you've been looking for a little something from our boy Caesar, uh, I would just have to say, this might be your thing. It does look like it could be a little suspenseful, a little mystery, kind of wondering what's going on. I, I probably will check it out. If you do, let me know below and uh, what you thought about it. It doesn't have to be below here. It could be on any post in the future. We'll talk about it. And now we're going to go to a little Sophie. This one shared by Outlander Online and Sophie Skeleton Universe. New photo of Sophie Skeleton from Sophie Skeleton's Instagram. It says, see you soon. We see, well, she's on, on I want to say a beach, but there's sand. We know that for sure. It looks like palm trees in the background. And that's a pretty decently packed set of luggage, uh, having done some traveling myself. She looks set to go. I'm curious exactly what this is if it's a knapsack or her jacket rolled over because it looks like there's another piece of baggage here yeah that's uh that's well packed got to carry on wherever you're going sophie i'm assuming to season eight uh, filming hope you get there safely and caitlin orion is back at it again some lovely photos that she is sharing it looks like she is relaxing out in the world and we have oh a nice little set table very um like rustic i like the wood i do i do even though i wouldn't look it in my kitchen i do enjoy a good wood table uh and these are the kinds of things i would see during the summer being used to set a table oh a lovely path out to is that a, a lighthouse out there looks like it would be a lighthouse considering where it's situated and such and there are some rocks so you would want somebody to tell you how to miss the rocks if you were in the water pretty shells anybody else well, I'm sure we all do it, but especially uh, my daughter. She loves to go find whatever shell she can, whatever beach we are at, and then manages to lose them before we get home. <laughs> oh, look, it's a picture of Caitlin taking a picture of Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. I like that. That's good. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering who the photographer is, 
All credit goes to Caitlin Orion. <laughs> and we're taking a walk in the water. That's always fun to do. Feel that sand get squishy in your toes as the water goes in and out. Anybody like to try to see if they can bury their feet while the tide comes in and out? We, we, we like to do that just for fun. But splashing in the water is also a good time. And I'm enjoying... I. You know, I love rock formations. I get a little iffy when they're, like, right on the ocean because I worry about somebody getting smashed on them. <gasps> wild horses! Are those wild horses? Well, they're probably not wild horses these days, but they're they're grazing horses out having a time. That's really cool. I'm in Indiana. We see horses all the time, but they're always fun. <laughs> um, and that, that reminds me of, of Jamie's Cross, but that's not Jamie's Cross. That's a cross. <laughs> somebody down below explained to me because I've seen it on, on movies and other things, but why do they put a, a structure, a cross, it looks to me like a cross, out in the middle of nowhere when it doesn't look like there's a church nearby? Because for me, I equate uh, a cross to a church when you see something like that, it looks kind of fancy. Um, I would think that it meant there's a church nearby, maybe here's the way. What What is this? Where Anybody from Scotland have any idea? Please tell me, just because I don't like being ignorant. All right, more images here from Caitlin as we do see. It does look like a, li a lighthouse, but like a defunct lighthouse because there's no light on the house. <laughs> oh, a mushroom. Ooh, all right. So now that, if I recall, is the kind you can cook. Do they pick wild mushrooms in Scotland and, and cook them a lot? Because it's like a whole thing here. Mushroom picking season. That one looks like there's some structure on the top of that building, but again, it doesn't look like it would be a proper... Uh, lighthouse of any use that's pretty that looks like yeah it just sort of goes on and on way 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 back here maybe some uh, an island or mountains across a bit of water that is very cool and now oh we're looking I couldn't I couldn't get perspective here on this one but it's the cliff is here and then the water is here so jump in have a swim I uh, yeah I'm, I don't know if it's deep enough it looks like there's rocks right here so you'd have to jump out a bit Oh, that's a pretty view. Yeah. I like the, the misty uh, ocean, uh, you know, the mist over the ocean in the back or the sea. Not positive where they are, so it could possibly not be an ocean in, instead of sea. Could be a lake for all I know. No, it's not a lake. Not a lot of lighthouses needed on a lake. Ah, oh, we're doing some writing here. Let's see. My head is in your lap whilst you nather, probably like a nap, passing picky, passing picky bits as laughter punctuates your chat and I'm in your cadence I drift off oh and in your cadence I drift off see this is why I am not a poet uh carried far from anxious thoughts your fingers comb through hair and there is nowhere else I'd rather be than with my friends down by the sea oh that's nice if she wrote that which I assume she did very nice Caitlin and from poetry to whatever the heck Stephen's doing, this is shared by the Stephen Cree. Final push to raise awareness and money for the Rainforest Run International Animal Rescue on the 22nd of September. Please donate if you can, and no worries if not, or even better, sign up and join in and do a five kilometer uh, walk run on the day with me virtually. Go to the link in my bio, see my Just Giving page, and all the details. I think that I shared uh, that information previously. I'll see if I can dig it up and share it again. Uh, this is a day ago, so I'm, I'm going to guess that there's so little time left. I'll go ahead and post this and see what we can do. Um, and even if you don't do this officially, do go go for a walk. Do it for yourself. But let's, let's listen to Steve anyway. <laughs> Hello, I'm Stephen Cree. If you're not watching this on my Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and I am wearing my baseball cap back to front today. I apologise for that. I don't normally do it. Forgive me. But I've just come out of the gym where you might notice absolutely zero beads of sweat coming down. I've been training for the Rainforest Run on the 22nd of September for international, international animal rescue. It's quite hard to say. International animal rescue for an amazing charity. Um, doing, they're supporting an amazing uh, orangutan project in Indonesia, protecting rainforests, protecting wildlife. They truly are incredible. I've spoken about them here a lot. And on the 22nd of September, the rainforest run, anywhere you are in the world, you do five kilometers, do it in the gym, do it on the road, walk it, crawl it, wheelbarrow it. Um, I'll be walking and crawling it. Uh, I'm going to do Instagram live on the day, so you can do it with me if you want. I'll find out a time. 
If you can donate to the link here, that would be amazing if you can afford it. No worries if not. And if you want to join up and do it with me, click on the link and join Team Orangutan. If not, just share this, please. Thank you. Well, I can definitely manage uh, sharing it. See, I'm sharing it now. Uh, I know I'm going to be doing some walking. Our street fair is that week. And uh, yeah, like I said, my daughter is in a parade this weekend. That's for a small town that's right next to us. We are in our own very small town and our festival starts the next day or the next week. And she'll be in a parade there. So lots of walking will be done next week. I swear, I swear, I swear. All right, I'm attempting to share this simply because both Sam Hewn and Richard Rankin are in it, and this one was posted to me, uh, or shared with me, I should say, by Kathy Slavic. Thank you again, Kathy. Now, I will give you the link below, but this is music, so um, I'm kind of skipping through, can't show the whole thing, little clips here and there. Uh, this is from Column Battle Official. I have had a journey of absolute enormous ups and downs in this music business. This is a very long paragraph. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But again, I did want to take the time to make sure you saw that it was here. I'm going to have it specially marked to so look at the links below. It will be marked as a music video. That way you'll be able to find it, take a look at it, see what you think. But yeah, there was no way I was going to skip this if both Richard and Sam are in it. Kathy was kind enough to share it. See what we think of it, and uh, again, in this post, you can tell me below what you think of this video. <laughs> and we're going to end on some Sam. I'm, I'm back to my normal schedule, it looks like. Point Blank 1959 shares this. Stephen Cree on X last year, I just bumped into the king of men in the toilets. <laughs> You know, that would really surprise me if that happened to be. It was a beautiful moment. Stephen graduated from the RCS a year before Sam. Oh, yes, I do. I think I actually might have shared this one before, but I'm going to do it again. They are the same age and constantly ring each other, especially Stephen. Uh, again, I don't know if I could tell if one were the, if they were the same age or not, especially because they act. I'm used to seeing Steve in all the old Ian uh, makeup. So yeah, it's, that's tough. But this is a great picture. I will say in this particular picture, um, Sam looks about, again, 12 again. Uh, but it's a good picture. Everybody looks happy and hopefully everybody else has relieved themselves nicely. <laughs> And as we finish up, we are going to do this one, Outlander Addict, 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 oh, Addict Friends. Oh, this is French. I'm sorry. Yeah, here, let me do the translation real quick. The secret behind Sam Hewn's kilt is finally revealed. Tradition versus comfort. What does our Jamie Fraser choose? Gosh, we might have to listen to this video. What a terrible, terrible thing we have to do. What do you wear? What does one wear under a kilt? It, nothing. Commando. It's called uh, being a true Scot. No, yeah. really? Yeah. Uh, to, be, uh, to be honest, you know, obviously the tradition is nothing, but, um, you know, it can get pretty chilly in Scotland. Are you a traditionalist? Uh, I, I like to be, occasionally. It's yeah. it's very breezy, should we okay. say that? But isn't right? that the point? That's the like, point, right? Yeah. And it's liberating. Yeah. So, um, okay. well, the first men in kilts to come up here. The, the first... Pay, maybe the first people in kilts. The first people in commando on a glacier. <laughs> didn't really need to know that. Oh, well, maybe you didn't need to know, Graham, but the rest of us is important information. Because <laughs> we're sick, folks. All right. Um, I do who. That was everything I've got for this video. There is another one that I'll be recording here in just a moment. But if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like. Subscribe to the channel so you'll know when the next video comes out. And hit that notification bell so you'll see exactly when that next video comes out. Um, thank you, everybody, for your viewership. I do appreciate it very much, um, uh, especially now that I'm officially attempting to save up some some actual cash from this channel and, and any other endeavors I happen to be doing out in the world which right now um aren't any that I get paid for so we'll see what happens Bev, drop us a line in the comments so we know you're doing all right. I really I, I really am concerned. If you all aren't aware, Bev is probably one of the first people on this channel who um were very supportive, gave me new information. She came on live chats with me, and I haven't heard from her for a while. I know that there's been some some uh, troubling health issues or and difficulties, and I just, I'm worried about her. I want to make sure she's doing all right. So uh, if anybody knows Bev, or Bev, if you see this, please just say, hey, Kate, I'm all right, because I've really appreciated your assistance, especially that first uh, year or two. So um, yeah, just, just let us know.
to everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. Do look out for another video to come out possibly tomorrow, maybe Sunday. Again, not really sure because we've got weird things going on. Anybody else have like crazy fall festivals that happen and so it throws everything out of whack for like a few weeks? Just me? Yeah, I figured. Okay. Now, if you can't wait for this weekend's content, I do understand there's, there's it's hard to wait. But if you might have missed any of the videos, you might want to check out the Droughtlander Waiting for Season 7 Part 2 playlist uh, and see, see if you can find something that might fill in the gaps, fill in the time. Check out the videos. Whichever one you do pick, don't worry. I'll see you there. But find something if they... Uh, it's back to filming on Outlander Season 8 for Darmed Mata... <laughs> See, I knew I wasn't going to get it right. For me, I I equate a church to the cross, or a church to the cross, a cross. On the 22nd of September for International International Animal Rest, it's quite hard to say. Well, I can definitely deal with the manager. <laughs> I can definitely deal with the manager.